The High Court has issued writs against eight people alleging breach of the Official Secrets Act over the banned BBC programme on the Zircon spy satellite. The eight include the journalist Duncan Campbell and the Labour MP Tony Benn. The writs were sought by Norris McWhirter, chairman of the Freedom Association. Mr McWhirter said tonight that the film had been shown at a series of public meetings around Britain, even though Mrs Thatcher and Mr Kinnock both said any transmission would be a serious breach of national security. The injunction banning publication of the Zircon project came too late to stop the presses of the new statesman. But last night a video of the banned BBC film was shown at a public meeting in London. The Freedom Association says those named in writs were associated with its screening and by doing so were in breach of the Official Secrets Act. But tonight the man at the centre of the Zircon row, journalist Duncan Campbell, dismissed this latest exercise as laughable. It isn't their business, it's the government's business to decide about the Official Secrets Act. I'm much more concerned about the allegations about national security. I say that our article and the programme doesn't damage security at all. And I'm challenging people to, to show one way in which it has damaged security. And to show I mean business, I'm putting in a month of my salary and giving them this Zircon trophy. If anyone can answer the questions in this form as to how anyone, anything in the article, actually damaged Britain's security. As yet, none of the eight people named in the writ have received any details of the allegations against them. But as and when a writ arrives, Duncan Campbell says he will send his lawyers to the courts immediately to have it struck out.